Hi, it's Thomas Kronemark, the throwing coach. Here is my analysis of the throwing mistake Italy made here at the Euros so Albania could score a really, really fast goal. But before I go into the analysis, I'd like to say thanks to Mahmoud Nasser who tagged me with this video on LinkedIn. So it's all so his graphics in the video. But let's go on with the throw-in here. So first of all, Italy has a throw-in um, at the edge of their own penalty area. And I'll come to first, like, one of the biggest mistakes that not only national team does, but also club teams, is that they're only working with one or two solutions uh, solutions in each zone. And here is quite clear what Italy they're going after. They're going after the mini-switch. And the mini-switch, that's what I call it when the ball in the end goes to the second central defender, and that could be either directly, like here, uh, it could also be a return pass with a good distance, or some kind of shuffling in the midfield, and then a pass from the midfield to the uh, central defender furthest away. You can also say that Italy, again, has a lot of different uh, good options here. Uh, of course, we can't see all the players, but just by looking at this picture here, I can see that we also have a big option. Uh, for the big switch too, we can have a midfield shuffle, we can have a big box side pass al uh, along the line, and other solutions. Uh, but they choose to do the mini switch, and that's actually okay, because you shouldn't do that every time, but you can do it once in a while if the space is there. The big mistake that uh, Italy, uh, they're doing here is that two central midfielders here, they're really passive. So they're standing still. So first of all, the nearest one to the throw, he's just occupying the space, so he can never be a solution there. Uh, the second uh, midfielder here, I think it's Jorginho, he's also passive. Yes, he's he's pointing to his, um, to his teammate uh, about something, but he's passive. So it means that he's occupying the, the space. So in just a few seconds, the Italian fullback, he's, he's doing a, a direct mini switch. Uh, the challenge with the position of Shoshinho is that he's not dangerous here. He's not creating any space. So it's really easy for the Albanian striker to go in and pressure and, and go after that direct mini switch here. So you can say he has a low pressure risk. He's not risking anything. So what Italy should have been doing, if they've chosen the mini switch, and I think it's still an okay solution, but they're making a big mistake here, is that Shoshini should have been taking a run up front. So because if he gets the ball there without any pressure or less pressure, he can, for example, do the full switch to the other fullback or do the switch over to uh, the, the right winger there. But the other thing he's doing by making a move up front is that he, he if, if the striker is following him, then it's like a walk in a park to do the direct mini switch here. So the biggest challenge here is that not that they're doing the mini switch because that can be really good, but they're not preparing the mini switch with, with, with the runs before you're doing it. And then some of you are maybe saying, okay, what if he's not following? Then you have just, you have just spaces in, in other places of the pitch. So again, uh, for me, big mistake by the Italian team here. And, um, and of course, fantastic pressure from the Albanian player. I love that a lot. And of course, the goal in the end, it was really, really good. But uh, let's just see how it looks when they score a goal. And see again, the Albanian striker has like a, a low pressure risk. So uh, let's go. So no, no movement from Shoshinho. And yes. So again... Again, yes, big mistake, but this could have been avoided with simple throwing coaching. Again, I've been a throwing coach for uh, around 20 years. I've been coaching in many clubs, been a part of um, 15 titles in international football. Uh, and again, I'm helping clubs all around the world. If you want a visit from me, inspirational visit, um, you're absolutely welcome to contact me. I'm not only coaching the best in the world, I'm also coaching all other clubs. So again, are you interested in improving your throwings? You're absolutely welcome to write. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.